Hello, this is Bill Hitchcock, and it's June 8th, 2020, when I'm recording this. This is our second part of some Chapter 6 What If Analysis examples. And in this particular clip, what we're going to be doing is demonstrating a one variable data table. So we had our loan spreadsheet where we had the cost of the loan, down payment, APR, years borrowed, and payments per year, all these input variables. And then we had a number of calculations for the output to compute out the amount of the loan, the periodic rate, the total payments, periodic payment, total to repay the loan, and the total interest paid. So what we want to find out is, say for instance, we start out with a $200,000 home. And we've got a down payment where we think we can afford $25,000 down. And I come down here to the periodic payment and I want to find out um, you know, how much that periodic payment is going to be, what the total is to the repay the loan and so on. And then I want to you know, find out well, what would happen if we borrowed another $10,000, uh, $20,000, $30,000 and so on. How does that impact my periodic payment and the amount that we're going to be paying back on the loan and so on. So what I'm going to do up at the top here is I want to put in my current scenario. So I've got, um, let's reference the cost of the home, 200000 and let's go ahead and just format that with, in this, well, I'll use a dollar sign, get rid of the decimal places, wide note this column. Oops, and when I did that, I could find out that um, suddenly my column's a, a, a bit too wide. And the reason why it's too wide is we've got these labels here that are just in one cell. So what I'm going to do with those labels so I'm going to stretch this across here and choose Merge Across. And I'll do that down here for the two variable data table. And we'll do Merge Across. And now let's try to adjust the column width and see how that turns out. All right, so that looks a little bit better. I've got my $200,000. All right, next, I want to find out what's the, the payment on that. So I'll type in an equal sign. Here's my periodic payment. Again, let's format that. This one, I'll probably include the cents. The total paid, I'll just reference the cell down here. This one, I'm going to use a dollar format. Probably don't need the decimal points on it. And then finally, here's the total interest paid. And again, we'll format that with a dollar format, get rid of the decimal points. So that all looks good. I'll do something similar for all of these values here. I'm going to format them. We'll start out with a dollar format. And then on these, let's just get rid of the decimal points. And same with here, we'll get rid of the decimal points there. Hit that twice to do it. Save my work. And here's the idea. I want to try to substitute in a number of different values. So for instance, we would start out at 200,000. And then I'm going to take this and add 10,000 Oops, plus 10,000 to the previous cell. So I've got 210,000. I can copy this down. The reason why I'm including the 200,000 is I just want to make sure that that indeed does match what I have listed up here. So um, for the payments and, and the rest of it, let's save this because I always manage to mess this up the first time. So that's the setup for my table. So you put in your references to all the inputs and outputs. In this case, I've, it's a one variable data table, just one input that you can put in. And we're going to vary the cost of the home. There's my varying amounts. 
for the outputs it's the intra or the payments the total paid and the total interest so we highlight all these cells in our table we're going to click on data what if analysis and this time choose data table now with a data table there's two options there's a row input cell or a column input cell for a one variable data table in other words if you only have one input variable and multiple outputs one or more outputs I should say you're just gonna fill one of these if it's a two variable data table we're gonna have two input variables but you can only have one output so we'll do that a little bit later so let's see I think that this is in rows so let's try it in rows my row input is the cost of the home I'll hit OK cross my fingers and we'll see what happened it looks as though I didn't do it right because my um, periodic payments are not calculating out correctly so let's try highlighting our table again let's go to data what if analysis data table and we'll try the column input cell since we'll guess that these cells these values are in one column so we'll try to reference cell B2 hit OK and take a look at this we've got for the first one looks like the same exact numbers that's a good sign they go up slightly at 210,000 to 20 and so on and it looks like I missed the formatting on this last one so let me come up here grab from the home tab the format painter and format paint that last number and we've got it so um, what's good about this this one variable data table is I can try changing my underlying data now I'm gonna try setting this at 250,000 and when I do it here there I can see the exact numbers that we've got over here and if I look down on my sheet here's 250,000 1074 386 162 call it if we round it up looks like we're getting all the matching numbers and that works if we change any of our other inputs see I can only afford ten thousand dollars for a down payment hit enter all the numbers recalculate my data tables all set up that looks pretty good so it's it's a, a really nice way of, of setting up these tables and doing it one last little tip that you might want to do is say for instance that you're looking for specific numbers um, you know for instance under the 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 payments you know normally you're gonna set yourself a budget about how much you want to be able to pay so for instance what I'm gonna do is is down here I'm gonna type in the word budget and I'll say twelve hundred dollars and let's format that with a dollar format widen out my column and then on, on my home tab I'm gonna to go to conditional formatting set up a new rule I want to format only those cells that contain something that's less than or equal to what I have typed in to my budget so I'll format that I can format the number I've already got it formatted with the dollar so that that's fine the font let's choose bold and italic so it kinda stands out for us border probably eh, I don't like borders you know just waste ink but the fill color then we can choose some color to make this stand out a little bit so I'll, I'll choose this kind of light yellow cream color hit OK hit OK widen that column out there's my budget twelve hundred dollars so now I can use my format painter using that conditional format and highlight all of these cells for the periodic payment and while I'm at it I think I'll also format paint this one 
So if my budget is only $1,000 a month, hit enter, and it just highlights those cells that meet this. And you can see at $250,000, we can't quite afford it. We can almost afford a $220,000 home. Um, you know, it's just $2 over the budget. But that's kind of a, a nice added feature. Um, use some conditional formatting in your one variable data tables. I think it adds to um, the, the, the value that you're, you're putting onto your spreadsheet. So let me save this one. We've got one variable data table done. Next time we'll come back, we'll do a two variable data table.